How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you all the most exclusive players in MLB The Show 19. I'm going to be focusing on some of the hardest cards to unlock, some of the most exclusive cards in MLB The Show 19. And before I get into this video, not all of the cards are going to be diamonds. I will explain what I'm talking about in a little bit, but uh, to go ahead and start the video off, I think we have to include the Live Series Collection, some of these cards in the collection items and in the collection tab within Diamond Dynasty are the most exclusive cards in MLB The Show 19. I think the most, one of the most exclusive cards is Willie Mays. I mean, the only way to get this card is by collecting all of the live series players in the game, except for the free agents. You need to collect both the AL and the NL. And as of right now, with all of the stub sales that have been going on, the collection itself is right around 900,000 stubs. So 900K is a lot of in-game currency. That's very expensive if you wanted to even buy the stubs and complete that collection. Uh, that's why he's one of the most exclusive cards. Another card in there is Rogers Hornsby. You get that card by collecting the entire National League. And then once you collect all of the American League, you get Ivan Rodriguez. The thing about Pudge is he's a little bit short at 5'9". He doesn't really have the best blocking stats. And there are some better catchers and some other catchers included in this video on some of the most exclusive cards. So Honus Wagner is by far the most exclusive card in MLB The Show 19. The only way to get this card is by collecting 60 signature series players as well as another uh, right around 200 players in this other collection that you have to collect just a variety of players in the game so definitely one of the toughest cards to unlock and if you play somebody with Willie Mays and Honus Wagner both they definitely have earned a lot of stubs in the game and have a lot of cards I think another card you have to include in this video is Vladimir Guerrero uh, since he is a signature team moment collection uh, this card is very tough to get. I have yet to face him. I think that uh, I will face him a few times. I think that some people will have him, and I will also try to unlock him myself. Another card that I've seen a handful of times is this Moments Extreme Andrew Miller. You get this card by completing the second phase of Moments Extreme. A little bit more exclusive, a little bit tougher to unlock. And something interesting, I think, about this video is... The amount of gold cards included in this video. I think that this Johnny Venters is going right for right around 10k. Same thing with a couple of these other cards. Definitely some really good options in terms of a left-handed reliever in this one. There's another one. I think it's uh, Cam Bedrosin. And this card is a right-handed reliever. Not as good as the Johnny Venters. But I think because this card was unlockable at the beginning of the game cycle throughout ranked seasons. I believe that's how you would unlock this card. By getting to a certain division in ranked seasons, you get a choice pack with these gold cards, and there was no other way to unlock them. So if you notice, uh, over time, some of these cards have fluctuated in price, but there's the, the Johnny Venters right there. Below him is the uh, Cam Bedrosin, and then above him is the Hunter Strickland. I'm not sure if he was included in the pack, and then uh, below, below them is the Tony Watson. So I wasn't sure if Tony Watson was also included in the pack, but I would say that he's pretty exclusive. He's going for right around 7,000 stubs. Some of the cards are not as exclusive as let's say Honus Wagner or Willie Mays. They're not as expensive as those cards, but there's only one way to unlock them. Let's say if you got the game now or recently, you would not be able to get these cards unless you purchase them on the market. I believe Yohannes Cespedes was included in there, and it might have been, honestly, what it might have been is two separate ranked seasons packs that had, I guess, uh, two waves of these gold players. I tried to include all of them. It's very tough for me to remember how the cards were released, but I do remember that these cards were pretty exclusive. I mean, this Billy Williams, I think, might have been included in that as well. And uh, he's going for even more stubs than some of these other guys. I think because there's the signature series Billy Williams, a lot of people won't use this card. And this was the only Billy Williams in the game prior to that signature series card. So uh, kind of interesting on how they release some of these cards, how uh, exclusive some of these cards are. We see that 25K with a good sell now uh, split there. You can kind of make some stubs that way if you're willing to wait around and put the order up. It won't. You, these cards aren't going to sell right away. You're, it's going to take some time because it's not like a lot of people will want these cards. These are cards that you would need for Honus Wagner. So they kind of link up together in that sense and the reason why they've kind of uh, risen in price a little bit. But uh, Carlos Martinez was a card you could unlock throughout an event earlier on in the season. You didn't need a whole lot of wins in order to unlock this card, but he is a pretty exclusive card. Then Tony Perez, same type of concept here 
he is an also another event card and this card's going for the most i think out of any gold card on the market he's going for more than some signature series players i don't necessarily think anyone's going to purchase him for the price that he's going for but if you are able to flip this guy then you might be able to make a really good profit if you're able to put the card up so he's going for 70,000 stubs and the sell now is 17k I think the only way to really get this card is to wait on him, put a buy order up and wait. Hopefully uh, someone quick sells him in their binder after locking him in for Honus. And I'm not even sure if you can un you can get him that way through a sell now order. But I figured I would try to include that in the video. Now let's get back to some of the diamonds. Of course, Chipper Jones is the best World Series reward we've seen throughout the entire year. In my opinion, he's right there with uh, Ty Cobb. And that's why I think Ty Cobb could also be included in this one, but this is the most recent World Series reward. I think that this card is the most exclusive World Series player that we've had. Of course, we have uh, some Battle Royale players included in this video. Chris Sale is pretty exclusive. It's very difficult to go 12-0 in Battle Royale. And, I mean, you're guaranteed this card if you're able to, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to go 12-0. Especially if you're new to the game, then you might not necessarily get some of these cards. But at least there's a good variety of other options that you can uh, you can go ahead and unlock. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a thumbs up on it. If you're new, consider subscribing. But uh, Felix Hernandez is another card that is exclusive because he's also a 12-0 Battle Royale card. I haven't really faced this Signature Series card. I don't even know if I have faced him at all. Uh, maybe once or twice, but anyway, uh, don't really see him on there too much on on people's teams too often. But he is a, a battle royale card. I guess all the battle royale cards for 12 and 0 could be included in this one. But uh, I wanted to include the ones that are going for the most amount of stubs. Uh, Eric Gagne is another card going for like 500k, similar to the Chris Sale. If you go 12 and 0, you have the choice between this card and Chris Sale. Then you're gonna have a good situation there. But uh, Reggie Jackson is another one, not really the best card in terms of uh, stats, but he is really he is pretty good. But I, I mean, in terms of the other options that you have there as well, uh, this card's more exclusive because of that. Similar to the Felix, I mean, if you have a choice between some of these cards, like Jorge Posada is the other catcher I was talking about, going for 500k stubs. If you have Jorge Posada, Eric Gagne, Chris Sale in your pack, and then Felix Hernandez, you're definitely going to go with someone that's 500k stub, someone that more people want so they might be more exclusive now on the, another uh, kind of thought here I think that some of these other cards are pretty exclu exclusive as well some of these storyline moment cards uh, Babe Ruth is someone who I've never faced in this year's game I have never gone up against him I know some people have him because he's been uh, redeemed and unlocked and discovered but uh, I've, I never was able to complete the missions for this Babe Ruth. I never adjusted the sliders at the beginning of the year. I never did any of that stuff. And I think that these moments were actually more difficult for me than uh, Moments Extreme. But Willie Mays is another card. I actually did unlock this card early on in the game cycle, right when the game came out. I really wanted to try out a version of Willie Mays. I wasn't going to uh, put the money in and spend the time grinding uh, events BR trying to earn stubs uh, 600,000 stubs for the signature series Willie Mays right away so I wanted to get this one definitely really good I have never really faced him that often I mean once or twice in an event or something like that but a good platoon guy against a lefty anyway uh, another card I, I think uh, to go along with the theme of events Giancarlo Stanton is probably the most recent card uh, with events I'm not even I don't think you can get this card anymore and uh, I, I don't have this card, but I think that he's exclusive in the sense that it took a lot of wins and a lot of vouchers to get this card. Some people have him, some people don't. And uh, same type of thing here with this Lee Smith. I think that uh, the Edgar Martinez was a more exclusive card in this one, but uh, this card's a little bit more valuable. So I think that people that have him will uh, go ahead and use him or they just sold him like I did. So that's kind of what my thoughts there. I think that Edgar Martinez is still pretty good, but this card has more value, similar to the fact that uh, I could have included Edgar in this one, but I didn't. I wanted to focus on a couple other uh, cards. I wanted to mention Edgar with that Lee Smith, but uh, some other cards that I think are exclusive in the game are the beginning uh, program cards. The, the first two through, I guess, fourth inning program have some of the most exclusive cards in the game as well. I mean, not really usable in terms of the first and second inning program. Really, only Madison Bumgarner is used, and not even a lot of people like him 
uh, right now. But Billy Wagner is one that uh, was going for about 60K stubs when he was in the prime of his program. It was very easy to finish this fourth inning program and unlock the Billy Wagner, but now he's going for like 150K. He's pretty exclusive. If you don't have him, then you're probably regretting not choosing him or not, not picking him up when he was a lot cheaper. Or you're, if you invested in Billy Wagner, then you're definitely uh, reeling in the stubs now if you're going to go ahead and sell him. Another one is Roberto Alomar. A lot of people really like this card, and I face him a lot. So in terms of exclusiveness, I mean, I know a lot of people have him. There's a lot of copies out there of Roberto Alomar, but not anymore. You're not able to unlock this card any, any longer. I mean, uh, with some of the other programs, they match up with some of the moments, and you're able to unlock some of those programs if you still grinded the game out. Not really the case there with some of the first couple programs released. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's the most exclusive cards in MLB The Show 19. And once again, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and consider subscribing if you are new. Thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day. I'm College Lefty and peace out.